Paul, when we last spoke, you suggested that someone that may be suffering celiac disease or gluten sensitivity go to their doctor. What would the process be from that point on? Well, you would discuss your symptoms with the doctor and it would be advisable, in my view, to be looking at uh, blood tests and blood tests can test for different antibodies in the, in the blood and they can identify adverse immune reactions to gluten and other food uh, allergens. Uh, they can even pick up that there may be gut damage and so on from a blood test. And over the last 20 years, the blood tests have become much more sophisticated, more reliable, and in the hands of an experienced specialist, they are able to pick up a lot of information from the blood test, where previously uh, an internal biopsy taking a bit of skin from the lining of the stomach and examining it under a microscope was considered to be the gold standard. But when you think about the area of the lining of your stomach, if you unfold it, it can be the size of a tennis court. Mm. And some people can be sensitive over the whole area. Others are only sensitive in specific areas. And one of the problems with a biopsy, where you remove a bit of tissue, is that you can remove tissue from a, a good area of the stomach that hasn't been it where there's been no damage to the villi. And you can make the interpretation if you purely look at one biopsy result that this person doesn't have celiac disease, when in fact they do. Had you looked further or taken multiple samples, celiac disease, some people can be born with it. And they, you know, they're uh, fresh out of the worm and on the breast and they've got gluten sensitivity through material being passed through the mother's milk or they can be celiac from a very early age. Other people, it's a work in progress and it may develop over decades and it may not, they may not be recognised as a celiac until they're in their 60s, 70s or sometimes even into their 80s. Um, so celiac disease is a, is a difficult thing. You know, with gluten sensitivity, it's difficult to analyse, to diagnose and treat because it's, it can be varies enormously from individual to individual. You can have combinations and overlapping symptoms that, are, that can also point at other problems, other health problems and health issues. So it's something that needs a measured approach and for people to know what they're doing. In children in particular, skin prick tests and blood tests are, are now extremely accurate ways of identifying that they have a, a gluten intolerance and, and damage and uh, are likely to be a potential celiac or may already be a celiac.